little guy? I'll pick you up at three. <laughs> Derby, you have class. Thank you. I do consider myself a distinguished gentleman. <laughs> Whoa, who's the pretty girl? And more importantly, who's the pretty girl? <laughs> it's her first day. I think she's one of my students. She's new? That means she doesn't know anything about me. I better make my move before people start spreading nasty truths about me. <laughs> Hi, I'm the most popular person in school, and when you hear otherwise, just know it's less popular people lashing out in jealousy. <laughs> Wanna go out sometime? Go out with you? That sounds great! Great, I tell you, great! Really? I'm Derby. The name's Pickles. Patsy Pickles. Pickles? That reminds me of something. Perhaps you've heard of my father, Preston Pickles, as seen on TV. Buttercup, why are you talking to this worthless piece of garbage? Worthless? Worthless, I tell you, worthless. Now, let's deliver you to class. Act now and I'll waive the shipping and handling charges. That's an opportunity too good to pass up. Pickles, now I remember. Adam. I forgot to put pickles on your sandwich. <laughs> Thinking the three-tiered wedding cake with the buttercream frosting and the chartreuse napkins. <sighs> Derby, it's a little early to be planning your wedding. Besides, you can't date Patsy. Her dad is Preston Pickles. Who? Are you kidding me? You don't remember what happened previously in Mr. Young's class? Hi, I'm Preston Pickles. You may know me from the shoe iron, the portable doorbell, and various class action lawsuits. I'm a huge fan of your infomercials. With your hair formula and my marketing genius, together we'll make millions, millions, I tell you, millions. Oh, this is bad. I needed hair today to be a big seller. I'll be ruined, ruined. I was ruined by that whole hair today debacle. You don't blame me for any of that, do you? You think if I'd held grudges, I'd have taken a job where I'd have to see you every day? Probably. You couldn't be more wrong. Why would anyone want to be this close to their mortal enemy? Mortal enemy? Figure of speech. Like, bane of my existence. Or, person I'm going to kill. Wow. The school has really good security footage. <laughs> Preston Pickles hates you. He tried to kill you. He's given the world so much, like chair pants and the spinife. Spinife? He went the spork one better and combined a spoon with a knife. People would be singing his praises today if they hadn't cut off their tongues. Derby, you can't date that man's daughter. Are you kidding? She's everything I ever wanted in a girl. She said yes when I asked her out. Now, if you'll excuse me, Patsy's waiting. one who signed up for driver's ed. Hello, class. Huh, that's why. Who's ready to put their life in my hands? I have to admit, I was a little nervous before. Now, I'm terrified. Hello, Mrs. Byrne. You here to learn how to drive, Baldy? No, it's time for your yearly teacher review. Don't worry, you won't even notice I'm here. Of course I won't. I'm a woman. <laughs> I'm so happy we met Patsy. Me too. I am having a fantastic time. And if you don't believe me, listen to this testimonial. When I first met Derby, I was skeptical. But I'm having a fantastic time. <laughs> but if that's not proof enough, how about this? Wow. 
If only I could remember this moment forever. Well, now you can with this Patsy and Derby commemorative plate. <laughs> and if you act now, not only will you receive a second kiss, you'll also receive... Patsy! Daddy! Wait, what will I also receive? Are you dating Derby? That makes me sick to my stomach. Luckily, I never go anywhere without the Preston Pickles vomit hat. <laughs> Patsy, this scoundrel made my life miserable. Miserable, I tell you, miserable. I forbid you to see him. You are so unfair. I am sick of you treating me like a baby. Don't use that tone with me, young lady. This is the worst day ever. I hate you. I know you don't mean that. But I forbid you to see Derby again. And if you defy me, I'll be forced to use the Preston Pickles Boyfriend Eliminator. I think I should run now. Is this safe? Shouldn't these seats have seat belts? Mine does. Here are the most important driving signals. This means turning left. This means turning right. And this means you're a dashing fellow. Let's say we pull over and check out the back seat. <laughs> Mrs. Byrne, maybe the class would benefit from some time behind the wheel. No, driving's not necessary. This is safer. Very few car accidents up here on the second floor. No, driving's a great idea. In fact, I just got a new car. Really old. She's standing right there. <laughs> okay, hop on in. You really expect me to drive this thing? Does it even start? Of course. This baby starts in a jiffy. First, you put the car in neutral. Next, crank the crank 12 times. Then we'll pour coal into the coal tank. Pull the choke. Wait for the water to boil. Open the steam valve and we're ready to burn rubber. Good afternoon, Mr. Young. One second, I'm just rocking out. Using this device I built to carve core samples out of igneous rock. <laughs> what can I do for you? You called me in for a parent-teacher conference. I should know, I received the call on my phone. Uh, I didn't call you. We did. Patsy, I thought I told you to stay away from that troublemaker. Oh, I thought you said stubblemaker. As in the Preston Pickles stubblemaker? Just run the stubble maker over your face, and voila, you need a shave. But no, I said troublemaker. I know you don't like me, sir, but I have a lot of good qualities, as you can see from this. Hi, I'm Derby. You may remember me from defying your wishes and dating your daughter. Well, today I'm here to introduce you to something that will make you feel better about all of that. The Derby. The easy to love boyfriend, complete with a variety of features ideal for your daughter. He cooks. He cleans. He even gets along with fathers. <laughs> We're totally getting along. Please. Make out with my daughter. Okay, I think we've all seen enough. I know I have. Wow, what an infomercial. The Derby is just the thing for my daughter. To never see again. Come on, Patsy. Let's go. Patsy's not here. 
just this unshaven gentleman. The key to being a good driver is to stay focused and keep your eyes on the... Hello, Chappie. What was that? Oh, no. We're out of coal. Someone's gonna have to walk and get us more. I'll take care of it. Okay. Found a coal mine. Told you I'd take care of it. Oh, no! My glasses fell off and broke! I can't ride without them. I guess it's up to you, Mr. Tater. You do know how to drive, don't you? Of course I know how to drive. What with the turny circle and the go foot button. You were just sitting on the class trying to learn how to drive. You weren't doing the teacher evaluation. Of course not. If we evaluated our teachers, we wouldn't have any left. See you later, Patsy Cakes. Kirby, I thought you weren't allowed to see Patsy anymore. Her father had a change of heart. He replaced his heart with the Preston Pickles artificial heart. Which not only pumps your blood, it plays digital music files. Unrelated to that, he changed his mind about meeting any Patsy. Great. Let's have lunch. What is that? The Preston Pickles laser can opener. It not only opens the can, it heats the food inside. Ah, steaming hot fruit cocktail. That's my igneous rock cutter. Don't you see why Preston changed his mind about you? He and Patsy are using you to gain access to my lab and steal my ideas. I'm offended you think Patsy would steal your ideas. What kind of despicable person does that? Derby, that can opener you gave me is selling like gangbusters. <laughs> Keep those inventions coming and you'll be dating my daughter for years. Years, I tell you. Or at least a couple of months. <laughs> Let's face it, you're teenagers. Wanted to see us? Oh. I thought we could celebrate your relationship with some delicious ripe fruit. <laughs> oh no! I am out of delicious ripe fruit. <laughs> How many times has this happened to you? <laughs> Luckily, I have this. The juice fruiter. It takes ordinary fruit juice and reconstitutes it into your favorite fruit. <laughs> like the future. <laughs> and as everyone knows, the future tastes like a freshly picked apple. Wow, that is amazing. Thank you. Anyway, I have to go do a different task. <laughs> I will now leave this incredible invention unattended. <laughs> And listen to those honks of goodwill. Even the other cars are rooting for you. It's the coppers! Step on the coal! I don't have a license. What am I gonna do? Don't worry. I do. Ma'am, this is a 60 zone. You were going to? License, please. Here you go, you young whippersnapper. Wait a second. This is you. Who's that? <laughs> my name is Principal Tater. As you can see from my scooter license. And my name's Echo. I'm a teenage girl. <laughs> Tee hee hee. Whatever. You don't need ID to sit in the back. 
Well, everything seems perfectly normal here. That's right. Perfectly normal. <laughs> T E E. Ha! Just as I suspected. My juice fruiter was stolen. Yeah, well, Patsy was nowhere near this room. She has an airtight alibi, thanks to the Preston Pickles airtight alibi sealer. We'll have our answer once we check the security footage. The security footage, right. <laughs> Let's find out what happened earlier today in Mr. Young's class. <laughs> now I can give this invention to Preston Pickles so he can pass it off as his own. And he'll keep letting me date his daughter. <laughs> While I continue to be impressed by the production values of our security footage, I can't help but notice that that clip was mostly clunky exposition. I mean, why would I just stand there saying what I already know to no one? I can't believe you double-crossed me. Usually you triple-cross me. I'm sorry. A girl liking you makes you do crazy things. You know that, from watching it happen to other people. Well, guess what, buddy? It was a setup. I booby-trapped that juice fruiter to blow up the next time it's turned on. Oh, no. Preston's planning on unveiling it tonight when he hosts the As Seen on TV infomercial awards. If it blows up in his face, this whole scheme blows up in my face. <laughs> He'll never let Patsy near me again. Derby, you really like this girl, don't you? Are you kidding? Let's review the footage. Uh, <laughs> no need. We can still fix this. We just need to get to the show and steal back the juice fruit. It's time for the 25th annual As Seen on TV Awards. Please welcome your host and a close personal friend of mine, Preston Pickles. Thank you, thank you. I see we have a full house tonight. Where are the chair pants fillers? I know you're all waiting for me to unveil my latest product. But first, the award for best product you never knew you needed. And the nominees are... Okay, we just need to blend in. For the short pants longinator. Hi, we're here for the As Seen on TV Awards. Here are our tickets, safely locked away in the patent-pending, impenetrable ticket safe. And Preston Pickles. <laughs> and the winner is... for the Preston Pickles Stubble Maker! I did it! I overcame my fear of driving a car. And I overcame my fear of being a bold loser. And I overcame my fear of... Aw. Well, you've passed your driver's ed. Now it's time for me to track down that chappy with the hot chassis. <laughs> Mrs. Byrne had spare glasses this entire time? Oh, this was all just a brilliant ploy to help me overcome my fear of driving. If I were really evaluating, I'd give her high marks for that. But I'm not, so her file will continue to describe her as dangerously inept. <laughs> Preston hasn't unveiled the juice fruiter yet. All we have to do is get on stage and grab it first. But how are we gonna do that? And the winner of best product made better by adding an alarm clock is Wally Wonders! You stall Wally Wonders. I'll go up on stage pretending to be him and grab the juice fruiter. Got it. Congratulations, Wally. Please enjoy a spinite full of winner's soup. Thank you. I can't believe I, the real Wally Wonders, won this award for that amazing thing with the alarm clock in it. Anyway, best be going. Wait a second. I know what's going on here. You are the real Wally Wonders, and you're trying to steal my juice fruiter. Wait one more second. Now I know what's really going on here. Preston, don't touch that. It's rigged. Oh. Oh. 
Wow, that was cool, hey, Pops? Anyway, Patsy and I have plans, so don't wait up. Are you joking? You embarrass me in front of my peers. From this moment on, you're forbidden to date my daughter. Whoa, 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 maybe we should let Patsy decide. I can't believe you tried to ruin my father. From this moment on, we're through! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Maybe we should let Adam decide. Oh. Kirby. You're not still depressed about Patsy, are you? I can't believe I lost my true love. I'll never be happy again. Well, I have something that might cheer you up. This package arrived for you earlier today. Yay! It's here! I'm so happy! <laughs> You're the best friend a guy could ever have. Hey, thanks. You're my best friend, too. Actually, I was talking to my derby. 